Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's fun video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw an alien versus predator face-off. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our alien versus predator face-off, let's begin with the predator face. So I'm going to begin right here and I'm just going to draw a line that's going to go down and then we're going to bring it back, kind of like a curved check mark. Next, we're going to bring this line down and then we're going to bring it up here. Let's just go ahead and connect this right here and we'll bring this line out a little farther. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go up and it's going to curve back here and then we're going to bring it up like this. We'll make a little line that goes over and we'll curve this up. We're going to bring this line up and then we're going to come down and bring it up here as well. I'm going to bring this line up at an angle and we're going to bring it down for part of the helmet. Next, starting here, I'm just going to draw a line that's going to curve up and we're going to come right to here and that'll form the top of the helmet. Starting here, I'm going to continue this line and I'm going to bring it up here. And then right here, I'm going to bring a line that's going to come out and then I'm going to go down here. Bring this line over and then I'm going to come up and kind of curve it in. Next, I'm going to bring this line up here, and then we're going to curve it up like this. Now, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve up, and then I'm going to bring it up to here. Then I'm just going to bring this line right into here as well. Now let's draw some of the hair on our predator. So I'm going to start here and I'm just going to bring a couple long lines that just come down here with a curve. They're going to come to a point and we're going to bring them back up here. So I'm going to do a couple more. Just going to bring some down and we're just going to bring them up. And we're just going to add quite a few of these on here just to really show that the predator has a lot of these like long strands of hair coming out. So we'll do a couple more down here. And I'll even put some kind of in between here too. I'll even draw a couple more back here as well. Now starting here, I'm gonna draw a line that's gonna come up. Then I'll add another little curve and then a line that comes down. Next, I'm going to bring this line over and we'll kind of jump in between some of these parts of the hair. Next, we'll make a little line that's going to curve across and we'll do this a few more times just to show some details on the neck of our predator. Bring these kind of back here. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to curve down. And we're gonna make a line that's gonna curve back here. I'll add a little detail line right in here. And I'm gonna bring this down and then over. Starting here, I'm gonna draw a line that's gonna come down and then back. Then I'll draw a line that's gonna come down and then in for the chest. Next, I'm going to add a couple little broken lines on here for some details, just to kind of give the armor a little bit of detail. Then I'll add a little line back here. Now, on the helmet, I'm just going to make a couple little broken lines here and a few little lines coming around here. 
I'll add some little lines kind of right around here in some different spots just to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. I'm going to add a couple little lines up here too. And then a couple more on here. Now, on the parts of the hair here, I'm going to add a couple little curved lines in some different spots. And this is just going to be like some little details and everything that the predator has in its hair. So we're just going to add a couple of these little parts in here just for some extra detail. Then I like to add a couple little lines coming down here as well for some detail. We can always add a couple more little detail lines on some of the armor too. And then right here, I'm gonna make a little oval shape and a little line that comes up. And I'm gonna put a little line coming down here. That's just kind of show where his little laser sight is. Now over here, I want to draw the xenomorph. So I'm gonna start right here and I'm just gonna begin by making a line that's just going to go over and then we're gonna curve back. I'm gonna make a couple more that just kind of go up and then curve back. Next, I'm gonna take this line, I'm gonna bring it up here and then down. And I'm actually gonna bring this line down here. Next, I'm gonna bring this line over to here and then we'll come down and then bring it back. We'll add another little line. I'm gonna bring this out for the chin and I'm gonna curve this back and over. Next, I'm gonna bring this line up here for the jaw. And I wanna add some teeth. So we'll start here with a nice pointed line for one of the fangs and then we'll make some smaller teeth in here. And we'll make some more sharp teeth back here as well. Do the same thing here, put some more sharp teeth right along the bottom here. And then right here I'm gonna make a little line, it's gonna curve down, and then we're gonna curve it up and then bring it back for the tongue. Put a couple little curves on here and then a couple little lines for some detail. Next, I'm gonna take this line and I'm going to bring it up and I'm gonna curve it back here. Then starting here, I'm gonna bring this line back and I'm gonna curve it down and then back up. Starting here, I'm gonna add a couple little curved lines for where the neck is. Then I'm gonna bring this line down and then over to here. Next, I'm gonna make a couple more little long lines here. And then a couple more little extra lines right around there. I'm gonna put a couple more little lines coming down. And then we're gonna put a few little lines going this way in here. I'm gonna make kind of like a two long lines coming down and I'm gonna add some little curves in here for some details. I'm gonna make a couple more little extra broken lines in here. Make a little line that's gonna come down and kind of curve back for some indentation. Do another little line in there. Then we're gonna add a couple more little extra lines in here for some detail. little broken line along the top, and then some extra little lines right around the mouth and everything. Put some extra little lines kind of right around here. And we'll put a few little lines inside of here too. Then we'll add a couple little curve lines on here for some more detail. And then I like to add just some little kind of like broken lines in here just for some extra details all over. 
And there you go, there's your drawing of the Predator versus the Xenomorph in a face-off. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hey.